We hope you're satisfied with your Tier 1 RO5 Reverse Osmosis Drinking Water Filtration System. This video, along with the printed guide, will lead you through the process for changing your system's cartridge filters and RO membrane. Please consult your printed guide or tier1water.com for service intervals. Alright, let's get started. First, gather the things that you will need. Towel, bucket, food grade silicone lubricant, the sump wrench. Shut off the water running to your system. Turn off the feed water line to the system by turning off the ball valve connected to the water feed connector. Turn off the water tank ball valve. Release the system's water pressure by running the system's drinking water faucet. The first step in replacing your cartridge filters is to place a bucket or towel below the filter system manifold to catch any water released from the cartridge sump. Double check that you have released the water pressure from the system as we have described earlier. We will be changing all of the system filters, starting with the first stage sediment filter sump. Using your sump wrench, turn the housing counterclockwise firmly to open the sump. When you are able, hand loosen the sump. Keep in mind the sump will be full of water, so be ready for some dripping or sloshing when removing the sump from the manifold. Repeat this process for the second and third filters. Remove the used filters from the sump and discard. Never tighten a system sump with the sump wrench. You may want to rinse the interior of the sumps to remove any remaining debris or sediment while they are removed. Remove the sump's o-ring and apply a layer of food grade silicone lubricant and then replace the o-ring. Place the new filter in the sump. Make sure you seat the center hole over the center sump post in the bottom of the sump. Turning the sump clockwise, hand tighten the sump back into place. Repeat this process for the other two sumps in the o-rings. For best performance, ensure that the black carbon filter is installed in the third sump. To replace the carbon post filter, again, ensure that all ball valves have been turned off and that the pressure from the tank as well as the drinking water faucet has been released. Disconnect both quick connect fittings from the filter by depressing the collar ring around the water line and pulling it away from the filter. Then remove the carbon post filter from the system manifold brackets and dispose of it. Insert the new carbon post filter into the system manifold brackets. Be sure that the water flow directional arrows are positioned correctly. The arrow should point towards the outlet end of the water line. Reattach both the inlet and outlet lines into the quick connect fittings. Next, we will show you how to change the RO membrane. To make this process as easy as possible, you may want to remove the RO membrane and carbon post filter from the manifold clips before replacing the membrane. First, disconnect the quick connect fitting of the membrane housing cap by depressing the collar ring surrounding the water line and removing the water line. Then, unthread the membrane housing cap. Again, there will be water in the housing, so ensure you have a towel or a bucket to catch it. Please take note of the O-rings inside the membrane housing cap. Using only the center post of the membrane, remove the membrane and discard. Before inserting your new membrane, apply some food grade silicone lubricant to the O-rings on the membrane post. This will ensure an easier installation and a tighter seal once installed. Insert your new membrane. Touching only the center post of the membrane, ensure that the O-ring side of the membrane is inserted into the membrane housing first. Insert the membrane into the housing fully. Then replace and hand tighten the cap of the membrane housing and reconnect the membrane tubing by firmly inserting the water line into the quick connect fitting. Reconnect both water lines by firmly inserting the water lines in the carbon post filter quick connection. Ensure that there are no dust caps or debris in the way of the water lines. Then, gently pull on the tubing to ensure a secure connection. If you haven't already, reattach the RO membrane and carbon post filter to the system manifold brackets on the top of the system manifold. Please note that the RO membranes only need to be changed once every few years depending on your water quality. After changing the membrane, fill and empty the reverse osmosis tank twice to flush the system and ensure that it is ready for use. After reassembly, turn on the reverse osmosis faucet and allow it to run until empty. This should take 10 to 15 minutes. 
After the RO tanks fill again, which can take up to 8 hours, drain the tank a second time using the same procedure. The system has now been flushed. Turn on the feed water line and the take water line to restore water flow to the system. Your Tier 1 water reverse osmosis system is again ready to provide you with crystal clear, contaminant-free drinking water. If you have further questions about maintenance of your RO5 system, please reference the instructions included with your unit, visit our website, or contact our customer service department. We're here to help.